Hi, we come again to a five minute rivet. Today we will see a very important tips and tricks about the flip arrow. What what is the flip arrow and how it's work? And it's work on multiple category in the rivet. For example, I take for a door, but you can use it for furniture. You can use it for example for um, uh, windows, etc., etc. For example, if I select this door here and you see this small button here, I I click on it. It changed the direction of the door. If I go to this door, I don't have it. Why? Because there is no control of flip arrow added to this family. And we will see how we will add it to, to a, a door. For example, I come back to this door. I click on spacebar. You see, if I click on the spacebar button in the keyboard, it's changed the direction. It's the same. Here, if I click, it doesn't change because I don't have the flip arrow. Now I go to add it in edit family. I go edit family here and i go here to create and in create i have this panel control okay this panel control i click on it and i have a multiple here we will choose a vertical and we will choose a double horizontal a double vertical and double horizontal what that mean if i click here and i came here you see i have this double here you can have a single for example but here we want to add a, a uh, double vertical and we will add also a double horizontal here and I load it in the project if I go to the project override existence uh, parameter now if I select here I have here both here I, I have only one vertical but we, let, let's check how it's work if I click here you see it changed the direction horizontally. If I click here, it changed the direction vertically. If I click spacebar, I have now this uh, door that it's become a more smart than it was. I hope these tricks help you to add flip door. You can add it, for example, for uh, windows, like I said, for furniture, for, uh, for plumbing, and as you like.